Welcome back to Sunday League Football, take two. That's right, if you missed the video that was earlier on in the month, we were due to play Ashfield Albion in the second round of the Essex Cup. Long story short, the pitch was double booked and we were made to toss a coin to decide who goes ahead and plays their game. Following that, Essex FA slapped a potential fine and suspension from the competition for not fulfilling the fixture, even though it was clearly out of our hands. Now, from past experience and hearing from other clubs, when Essex FA slap a fine on you, it's very hard to appeal and turn it around. But we decided to appeal, common sense prevailed, and now we get to play that game. So with that in mind, let's find out today's starting lineup. As per usual, in between the sticks, we've got our number one goalkeeper, Sean. In front of them at the back, we've got Aaron, Jamie and Graham. Either side of them, we've got Nolsey and Scottish left and right wing back. In the centre of midfield, we've got Liam and Kev. Just ahead of them in the cam position, we've got Kieran. And then up top, leading the way, we've got Nick and Connor. Let's talk subs. And in the Essex Cup, it's a roll on, roll off. So we can pick any three from these four. We've got Michael, Luke, Wayne and Tomo. Tomo was actually due a start, but he decided to say this the night before. Give away. I'm sorry to say, Tomo, but if you ain't running, you ain't starting. So anyway, enough talk, let's crack on with this fixture. So as you can see today, we're playing in the green. That was a choice by Captain Jamie, who's on the ball here. Truth is, he hadn't washed his shirt for a few weeks and it absolutely stunk. That and we haven't really shown off the green kit this year, so we thought we'd give it a go. I think I should also mention that Nick's just taken it around the keeper and started it into the back of the net with the first attack of the game. 1-0 to Palmers. Kickoff. First bit of possession of the game for Ashfield Albion as the ball's thrown in. Aaron wins it and it falls back to number three who took the throw originally. He plays it up the line to his fellow man, but Aaron clips him in the back and that's a free kick. The free kick's whipped into the box. Liam misses his header. It falls to number two, hits it first time into the back of the net, straight past Sean Weir left there standing. Both teams grabbing a goal with their first real attack and that's one all. Once again we've got Andrew on the camera today. Let's see what he thought of it. Well that was shit. No nonsense. Says it how it is and that's why we like him. Shall we carry on? Let's. Here come Ashfield Albion again bringing the ball forward with number seven as he cuts inside of Aaron here. Nice little drag back to get past Kev. He then plays it inside to his teammate on the edge of the box who takes a touch, fires it but it's hooked well wide. Time for an opportunity for us now as Nolsey lines up this free kick but hang on look at this guy. No number on his shirt but what he lacks in numbers he gains in gloves. Look at the size of those. You know what they say about big hands don't you? Big gloves. Just like when they talk about big feet. More shoe polish. But anyway enough about that. Nolsey knocks the ball in towards the penalty spot. It goes over everyone said the defender clears up rather than out. Seems to be hanging up there forever, but when it eventually does come down, it falls to Kev, who knocks it onto Nick. Nick then lets it roll past his body to get away from the defender. He's looking for a layoff, and he eventually finds Connor on the edge here as he fires with the left, but that goes over the bar. Here we go again with Nolsey on this near side. He spots the run from Nick as the ball's put over the top. Nick brings it down with the right, fires with the left. Oh, yes. Yeah! Unbelievable, Unbelievable. So there you have it, Nick's grabbed his second of the game already. And then you've got Nolsey, like he does pretty much every week at the moment. He's on the end of an assist. Well done, that man. Kick off. Here we've got some more action on this near side as Kev throws the ball into Liam. Liam gets it under, then plays it back to Kev. Kev then flicks it up and cleverly gets past big hands, big gloves, no number. He's still hassling in, but he cuts inside of him and gets away. Puts a lovely ball over the top to Connor as he brings it down. He's got pressure from the defender, but he gets a great shot in there, but the keeper makes a save. It falls to Kieran. He shoots, but that's blocked and eventually cleared. We're really starting to take control of this game now as Nick throws a long ball into the box. It's brought down by Kieran laid off to Connor here. He then flicks it away from the defender, gets the shot in, but the keeper makes a save at the near post. He then eventually falls to big hands, big gloves, no number, but he tassels with Kev once again. And would you look at that? He's had enough. He's taking the gloves off, revealing those. Oh, they're not big hands at all. They're very average. This lad's had us right up. And now all I can call him is no number. So as the gloves sit there on the floor, feeling sorry for themselves, Connor throws the ball into Kieran. He gives it back to Connor. He takes it round his man, fires it into the box. That's then parried out only as far as Kieran here as he takes on his man, gets the shot in with the right. The keeper makes the save, but that only falls as far as Scottish who gets the ball under here. His ball back into the box doesn't find anyone. Ashfield Albion attempt to clear it once again. It falls to Kieran. Oh, he's hit the ball. That's right, he's hit the bar. So after all that pressure, the score stays 2-1 and Ashfield Albion come forward now with number 77. He cuts inside of Graham here, plays it across to number seven over the far side. He then takes a touch and plays the ball forward to number six, who does well to keep it in. He then puts it into the box and number 77 fires home. He got in between Aaron and Sean there and that, my friends, is Desmond 2-2. Kick off. So it looks like Ashfield Albion have taken a lot of confidence from that second goal there as they play some nice one and two touch football here. The ball eventually finds no number here as he plays it first time out to number 77. He takes a touch and plays a ball in between Kevin Nolsey is picked up by number six. He takes a touch and plays it to no number. He fires straight across goal. No one's there to put it in. But either way, good football from Ashfield Albion. Here's a clearance from our opponents, which Jamie heads out to Scottish on that far side. Now, this actually happened to Aaron a couple of weeks ago, so I don't envy this lad here. Ooh. Eventually our opponent gets up as Jamie throws a long ball down the line to Kieran as he takes on his man here. He puts it into the box. It comes off of the defender. Connor's there with a the right to stick it past the keeper. And for the third time in the game, we take the lead. That is 3-2. Yep, kick off. 
Here we've got Kev in the middle of the park playing the ball along the floor to Nolsey. He plays it first time, pass number 19 to Nick. Nick's got two men on him, but he looks to go through them rather than around them. He's caught by the defender, but the ball falls to Connor who fires first time with the left, but the keeper makes a save. We've got a goal kick from Ashfield Albion here, which is brought down by no number, but it's great pressure from Nolsey as he sticks a leg in and wins the ball back. And then it's equally as good pressure here from Connor as he forces number three to put the ball out for a corner. The corner's whipped into the box by Scottish. It goes over everyone's head, but it's eventually picked up by Kieran. He's under a little bit of pressure here from number 12, but he managed to get past him as he makes his way into the box. Number seven's there to stop him from going any further, but then he does spot Nick in a little bit of space on the edge. He shoots first time. It's cleared by the defender, finds Kieran again. And just like before, he's being held up by number seven. He looks to go on the outside. He has no luck, but he goes on the inside. Number seven falls over. He brings it into the six-yard box, plays it to Connor. He plays it to for a nice little tap in, but the ref says no. Offside, despite the linesman not even flagging it. The free kick's launched up, which is brought down by Aaron. And that, my friends, is half time. So I'm just going to take a guess here and say that a lot of you are new because every single week we get the same questions. What day is the video going to be up? What time's the video going to be up? Why isn't the video up? Just chill, my friends. Chill. If we haven't got a game, just like last week, there'll be no video. It's impossible to give you something. But if we have, you should do this. You've seen the games, you've seen the goals, you've seen the action, but it's now time to follow us on the socials. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You know it makes sense. That's right. You heard the guy who's got a very similar voice to myself. Follow us on the socials and you'll be kept up to date with every single thing that's going on with Palmer's FC. But if you can't be bothered to do that, let me just answer the most popular questions. Sunday League football videos will usually be up on a Monday evening. Is a guy allowed to chill, put his feet up, have some roast dinner and watch some football? I think so. Cheers. Kick off. So as we make a start to this first half, it's Scottish that puts the ball over to Michael. He's come on for Nick as he gets the ball down. He fires his shot, but the deflection takes out the power and it's easily collected by the keeper. Here's Scottish bringing the ball down as we look to go forward again as he finds Michael on the near side here. He takes a touch as he looks to go around the defender, but he's tackled and that goes out for a throw. Throwing was taken by Scottish to Michael as he looks to get the ball in there. Defenders are on him again. He gets tackled, but this time it goes out for a corner. Here's Nolsey putting the ball into the box. It's missed by the defender, hits Kieran, falls to Scottish. He can't get it in as the defender clears it off the line. It's then headed out by number 16, but that ball only falls to the likes of Michael, Kev and Tomo who's just come on but it's Kev that picks it up he gives it to Jamie, defender slides in there but Jamie does manage to hang on to the ball as he looks to get past, no number on that far side Kev finds himself in space as he picks up the ball looks to get away from the defender which he does puts it across goal and unfortunately for number 8 he sticks it past his own keeper into the back of the net and that is now 4-2 to Palmer's FC so it's really about killing this game off early in this second half now as Michael brings the ball forward he takes on his man very easily as he looks to get the ball into the box, he does, it falls to Connor who takes a great touch with the left and then flicks it with the left but that just goes over the bar unlucky Connor in the middle of the park now as he looks to get away from number six despite the pressure he does and then he takes it past number 16 looking for an option he finds Nolsey on that far side he eventually gets the ball under control he's being patient here as he's held up by number 19 but with a little look up he puts the ball into the box it's a looping one and on the end of it is Kieran past the keeper into the back of the net and that my friends is now 5-2 to Palmer's FC lovely jubbly time for a couple of substitutions it's Scottish that's making way for Luke and as you can see there Connor's also coming off for Nick I think he's looking for a hat trick will he get it let's find out so it's Jamie that plays the ball out to this near side where Graham is. He's playing the right wing back position for now. He then plays the ball up to Michael but the defender bears down on him. Gets the tackle in but Michael manages to keep it in. He looks to get past him here as he sticks the ball through his legs but it does hit his heel and goes out for a corner. And it is that man Michael that sends the ball into the box. The defender misses it. It falls to Kieran on the half volley. Smashes it through a crowd of players into the back of the net. That's his second and Palmer's sick. Well we said Nick was after a hat trick. Looks like Kieran is too. Kick off and straight from that kick off Nick wins the ball. It falls to Michael and then he plays it out to this near side where Graham is. He plays a first time ball to Kev who takes a touch and then brings the ball forward. Looks like our opponents have kind of given up at this point as there's no challenge put in as Kev puts the ball over the top to Nick. Nick then plays it to Michael. He opens his body and fires with the right. Not a bad effort, I guess, in rugby. Anyway, the goal kick's taken long and high towards the halfway line. Kieran's unchallenged and is allowed to bring it down as he puts the ball back over the top towards Nick. He then lets it run, looks up and puts a lovely ball into the box. On the end of it is Michael. Oh my goodness, yep. <laughs> I can confirm Michael is human. A rare attack from our opponents now as we've been overrunning the midfield. Number two puts it through to number 12. It's a first time hit from him, but that's not troubling Sean. They look to be coming forward again here with number six, but his misplaced pass looks to be going out for a throw, but Nolsey's burst of energy manages to keep it in. He gets around number 19 here. He then goes on to evade the slide tackles. He makes his way into the box. Luke's calling for it, but he puts it in there. Nick's free. Could he get the hat trick? No, it's off of the head of Kieran into the ground, off of the bar and into the back of the net. That's a hat trick for him. 7-2 to Palmer's and that's his eighth goal of the season, making him the top goal score at the moment. Kick off. And so over that far side, it's Nolsey that gets away from his man. He plays it into the centre where Kieran is. He lines it up for his fourth, maybe. Oh. 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 
Great save by the keeper to force the corner, which is sent in by Michael. Headed on by Jamie. It's brought down by Kieran. He's somehow still got the balls. He tries to get the shot in, but instead he's tackled and it's clear by our opponents. More possession now as we look to go forward as Graham plays it to Liam. Liam then plays it to Luke. He's got space to run into as he takes on the first man here. Looks up and plays it out wide to Graham, who's overlapped. As Graham picks it up, he takes a touch and gives it straight back to Luke, who finds himself in a little bit of space. He looks for the shot. Oh. Oh. oh! Off the upright, and now Michael finds himself one on one with the keeper. Will he finally get his goal for the day? Let's find out. Oh, oh my god, he's had a shot. <laughs> Time for a sub, and surprisingly, it's not Michael, it's Nolsey that's been assisting everything left, right, and centre today. Connor's making his way back onto the field. Let's see if he can make any more of a difference. So here's Ashfield Albion with a misplaced pass to Luke. Luke puts it first time over the top to Nick. Michael then takes it off of Nick as he makes his way towards the edge of the box. He makes it in as he takes it past the player, fires with a left, straight past the keeper. There's the Michael we know. He's got a goal, and that is 8 2 to Palmer's FC. I'd hate to be. No, I'm not going to say it, don't worry. And so here we come again. We certainly haven't taken our foot off the gas today as Jamie plays the ball up to Michael. Michael plays it first time to Kev, then Kev puts it back. Back over the top to Michael. He chests it down. Managed to get away from two players here. Fires it past the keeper. And all of a sudden, he's got two goals. He's on a hat-trick after missing those chances earlier. Nick's also on a hat-trick. Can we bag double figures and make it happen for one of them? Let's see. Well, there's Tomo at the back there having a rare touch as he plays it up the line to Connor as he takes it past his man. He brings it forward and looks to put a ball into the box. He does just that. And Michael's in there, but it doesn't clear the first defender. And he puts it out for a corner. The corner's launched into the box by Michael. On the end of it is Jamie. It looks to be going in, but the keeper makes a great save. Luke can't convert it. And then the defenders eventually clear. So there you have it. That brings us to the end of the game. We certainly made it hard work for ourselves in that first half, but we came out second half and put it to bed pretty quickly. So that puts us into the third round of the Essex Cup now. We face up to South Benfleet United once again at home. Looks like a tough side, so it should be a good one. Quick shout out to Jamie who came all the way from Twickenham to come and watch the lads. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks to everyone for their support and we'll see you in the next one. Excuse me, mate. Do you know how long's left in this match? 20 or 25, all right, nice one.